among cycling fans is gradually increasing. What exactly can we expect from that course? Let's ask Scott Sunderland, the Belgian Australian who designed the course and who will soon be race director in Wollongong. Mixed signals have come out about the World Cup course in recent days. Heavy sprinters like Fabio Jacobson is not going. Lighter sprinters like Caleb Ewan Drop is not going. It is a difficult course, with more than 4,000 meters in altitude, course designer and course director Scott Sunderland, who also performs that role for Flanders Classics, takes the plunge. Starts with a big loop, with a climb of 8 kilometers at an average of 7%. That will be harder than people will expect. Those who survive this will come to the local circuit, each time with a climb of Mount Pleasant. The men do this loop 12 times, the women 6 times. This is a fast lap, which is mostly flat, says Sunderland. Just before Mount Pleasant there is a bit of a false flat, then the riders turn left and bam, immediately pieces of 19 to 20 percent. You could compare the climb with the Burundries, but a little longer. There are also parts that it flattens out a bit more. There is a very fast ascent, with speeds of up to 90 km per hour, also something for the more daring. And they are down, it is just over 5 km to the finish, with the last 3 km on wide roads along the sea runs. Near and Van Poel, but certainly also Pragakar. Scott Sunderland expects a mix of riders for the Tour de Flanders and Liege Bastogne Liege in the final. You need power and speed, but you also need to be able to go deep. I think guys like Van and Van Poel will be happy with this course, although I also like to add Pragakar. It is also a very nice course for him and he is preparing 100% for this. It will be difficult for the sprinters. One must be able to handle this, especially if he rides like his second at the 2022 Druid Goers, Ogarages. But forget about it not suited for even Van Barrow. Australians are pulling for Michael Matthews in their own country. Sunderland understands that. Ewan has never reached his top form this season. That's the great thing about the World Cup. You have so many candidates who can become champions and this course is attractive for all those names that have been mentioned. I would also like to add the boys from the Guelph Tom, such as Anna Napoel, there. The Australian weather phenomenon El Nino will continue until the beginning of October. Scott Sunderland. Great unknown, the weather. Maybe Flandrian weird. Answer. Scott Sunderland raises another possible determinant that you may have considered, the weather. If the weather is nice, it will be 25 degrees and sun. But soon the winter in Wollongong will only just end and there has been a lot of rain in recent months. Due to the weather phenomenon in El Nino, there was heavy rainfall and even flooding on the east coast. This will continue until the beginning of October. If the weather is bad, then we are talking about 12 degrees and cold. And possibly a lot of rain. Real Flandrian weather. Help us to bring you the best cycling content. Please share like and subscribe.